Thank you very much. So I first I'd like to thank the organizers for this occasion. So I'd like to start with the notion of uh, conformal blocks. So this is a notion in uh, conformal field theories uh, initiated by uh, Belabin, uh, Polyakov, and Zamolodzikov uh, in the middle of the 80s. So physically, uh, this is a space uh, spanned by holomorphic part of uh, partition functions of the model. So uh, Verabi and Polyakov Zamolodzikov built a theory uh, started with uh, representations of Virasoro Lee algebras. And later, uh, Kuniznik and Zamolodzikov uh, studied the case of the gauge symmetries with affine Lie algebras. So first I give a general framework for, in the case of Riemann surfaces, And then uh, in the second part, I'd like to uh, concentrate on the case of uh, genus zero, uh, where the Kuniznik uh, zamologikov equations actually appears. And in this talk, I'd like to stress on uh, solutions of the Kuniznik zamologikov equations uh, by means of hyper-geometric uh, integrals. So, uh, So the way of uh, thinking about the Kuniznik zamologikov equation is not uh, formal ones, as uh, as Fruschow's talk. So, uh, so, so in this way, so we can uh, establish that in the case of the conformal field theories, the Kuniznik zamologikov equations uh, can be uh, actually uh, considered as uh, Gaussmanian connections. In other words. So it's the differential equation satisfied by certain periods of uh, periods integrals for some uh, certain algebraic varieties, and so it is closely related to the variation of Hochi structures. But this kind of uh, uh, phenomena happens only in a very uh, special parameters. For in the case of Dringfield associators, people are talking about formal uh, parameters. But uh, in this talk, I'd like to focus on uh, special parameters with some properties like uh, so unitary representations. Or braid groups at the root of unities. And also, uh, we have uh, quantum symmetries for quantum groups at root of unities, some uh, here some positive integers. So first, I give a so general framework for uh, conformal sp the space of conformal blocks. So instead of uh, defining uh, partition functions by a Feynman integral by physicist, so I'd like to define the space where uh, the partition function live. So this is a way of uh, using uh, the representation theory of affine Lie algebras. So here is a semi simple a Lie algebra over C. And I'd like to consider uh, the associated affine Lie algebras. So this is a central extension of a loop algebra. So here, this is a loop algebra with uh, the ring of Lorentz series with uh, central extensions. So here, the Lie bracket <laughs> is defined by So this residue times, uh, so this is a carton, carton killing forms.
times in the center. So this is natural uh, central extensions of the loop algebras. So the geometric object behind this is the theory of loop groups. So consider the associated uh, loop groups. So in this talk, I mainly talk about the case SL2. Uh, so, so let's consider a loop group associated to this. This is a map uh, from S1 to Z. So there is a line bundle over this uh, whose first chain class is some uh, integer k. So we fix k as a positive integer. And you're going to consider uh, such uh, line bundles. Then the affine Lier Giblas acts on the space of sections. Of this line bundle, uh, so that the central element C acts as k times identities. So the geometric model for this is to study uh, Riemann surface with boundaries. So in the physics, there is a so-called Vesuzumino Witten action. So this is defined for a smooth map uh, from surface with boundary to a Lie group. So if you restrict to this, you obtain uh, loop loops. So <laughs> The partition functions we are going to define lives in the sections of these line bundles and with a very nice uh, conformal properties. And for this purpose, uh, we define some representations appearing in the sections of line bundles. So, So this is a notion uh, due to Victor Katz uh, at level k. So we fix uh, non-negative integers between lambda and k. And we start from uh, irreducible representations of SL to C. Uh, with highest weight. Lambda uh, with dimensions lambda plus one. So this is a usual, so finite dimensional reducible representations. And starting from this, I construct representations of affine the ERG plus. So method here in that first I decompose this into a positive uh, positive powers of Lorentz series and zero part and negative part. And uh, first I define the Verma module as M lambda. So this is uh, freely uh, generated by this finite dimensional representations by negative part. So the action of the positive part it's supposed to be zero. But in general, this Sorverma module is not irreducible. So there's a so-called mu vector so that the action of n plus to this vector is equal to zero. So we uh, construct some module uh, generated by this, and we take a uh, irreducible quotient. So this is an integrable highest weight module of level k, and the action of, I, I, I forgot to say that action of c is k times identities. 
And this is a irreducible uh, as gehat module. Uh, So the relation between the sections of line bundle of a loop group and this integral highest module is that roughly the sections of line bundles can be uh, decomposed into sum well, between lambda between zero and k left representations tensored with right representations. So by considering uh, such kind of <laughs> integrable highest weight modules, so we can look at, uh, we can pick up uh, reducible representations appearing in the sections of line bundles. So now I'm going to define the space of conformal blocks. So this is defined for Riemann surface with marked point. So here take uh, sigma. So Riemann surface of genus G with n marked point. And at each marked point, I'm going to associate a uh, highest weight of level k. So lambda 1, lambda 2, to lambda n, where these are highest weight of level k. So they are integers. So at each point, I take a loop loop around uh, this point, and I'm going to uh, consider a subspace of the tensor product of the sections of line bundles associated to each point, so that it is uh, conformally invariant. This means that, so this is defined for sigma and uh, p1 to pn, and also depend on highest weight lambda 1 to lambda n. So this is uh, the space of co-invariant tensors. And here, mp uh, denote the space of meromorphic functions on the Riemann surface sigma with uh, pores of any order at P1 to Pn. So the action is defined by Lorentz expansion at each point. So we, we, we need to fix some uh, local coordinates. But uh, it turns out that this uh, corresponds to uh, some subspace of the section tensor product of section line bundles, which is uh, invariant by conformal transformations. So this is a very remarkable object. So first, one can show that dimension is finite. So dimension is given by the famous uh, Fehrlinde formula. Uh, so there are many ways to define the space of conformal block, but this is uh, one of the ways to do this. And if you fix uh, lambda, the data lambdas, so one get a vector bundle that called uh, E lambda, because it's uh, usually called conformal block bundles over the moduli space of Riemann surfaces of genus G with n-bugged points. And there is a 
description of the deformation of complex structures by means of the uh, various action of the various solo algebras. So this uh, admits us to construct uh, some connections on this vector bundles. So actually, uh, since there is a center, non-trivial center in this Lie algebra, the, uh, the connections obtained is not flat, but uh, projectively flat. So this gives uh, uh, projectively linear representations of mapping class groups, uh, which uh, Gregor Masbam will talk about this in a combinatorial way. But uh, in this talk, I don't talk about uh, uh, mapping class groups. Instead, uh, I concentrate it on the case of a genus zero. So in this case, uh, the connections obtained here is nothing but uh, the Kniznik zomological uh, equations. This is the flat connections. So it is written in the form like this. So before writing down uh, the Kniznik zomological connections, I first remarked that in the case of genus zero, the space of conformal block I'm going to consider is uh, I take for some technical reasons uh, point infinities and I fix the point infinities and I take a coordinate, fixed coordinate, so that a fine coordinate so that this one is at infinities and I take a highest weight lambda one, lambda two, to lambda n and also lambda n plus ones. So for some technical reasons, marked point, also marked point, but we associate dual, dual representations. So I, I forgot to uh, remark that uh, this uh, actions uh, of gay tensor and P is uh, diagonal actions by lower rank expansions. But it's well defined since the sum of the residue is equal to zero on the Riemann surface. But the definitions of the affine Lie algebra is these central extensions, but uh, this the sum is equal to zero. And in the case of uh, genus zero, so there is a simple uh, phenomena that there is a surjection map from this finite dimensional by uh, the space of coinvariant by simply by the action of gay. So in some sense, uh, we can describe uh, by means of this and the kernel of this, <laughs> finite dimensional. And so this is also finite dimensional. And so this forms a vector bundle over Xn so this is a configuration space of ordered uh, distinct endpoints on a complex plane where we fix this point at infinities. 
And <laughs> so this has a natural flat connections. <laughs> so actually, uh, the flat connections comes from the action of the Virasoro operators uh, called L minus ones. So, so this is a Kunzinik. Uh, so here the point is that we have a very uh, special uh, parameters, one over k plus two. So these are coordinate functions for configuration space of endpoints. And here, the notations, uh, we take omega, this is uh, something like Casimir. And omega ij is the action of omega on the i's and j's. So I ignore the n plus first part, just these first. In Casimir, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Casimir, uh, precisely, yeah. Casimir in uh, universal and algebra plus, but it's uh, closely related to Casimir. So, so this is a typical, typical representations of the algebra, Lie algebra. Uh, Uh, German T N uh, appeared in this talk. So T I J goes to uh, uh, so so there is a way to uh, express uh, solutions to uh, such uh, uh, differential equations or by means of horizontal sections. So by means of power series. But this can be done uh, for, uh, as in uh, Fruchot's talk. But there is slightly uh, delicate problem here, since we are dealing with uh, some explicit matrix where k is a positive integers. But in this case also, we can write down uh, explicitly uh, solutions for uh, Kuniznik uh, zombological equations by means of uh, hyper <laughs> geometric integrals. <laughs> so first, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, this Kuniznik zombological equations, uh, the conformal block satisfies uh, this, uh, is invariant by this Kuniznik zombological connections. And also, it, it uh, had some nice uh, conformal <laughs> covariance. And also, uh, some algebraic equations. Uh, coming from uh, the existence of null vectors. So since we are... Uh, con the vector space we're considering is not Verma module. So there is uh, some algebraic relations. So we can check that uh, the space of conformal block are all uh, compatible with uh, KZ equations, conformal invariance, and algebraic equations. So by means of this uh, conformal covariance, you can reduce, for example, in the case of four points, uh, you can put uh, four point zero, one, infinity, and z. And the situation you know, Fruchot was discussing was appears in this way. But we are going to uh, look at some globally, the solutions. And for this purpose, I have to uh, consider uh, some uh, projections. Uh, forgetting the last m coordinates. <laughs> so, 
So here, m is uh, related to uh, uh, highest weight. You see later, m one half of lambda one to lambda n minus. And on this space, uh, I'm going to uh, consider some multi-valued functions. And the fiber of uh, these projections uh, is denoted by x and m. So this is a relative uh, configuration space. And I also introduce the quotient uh, by symmetric group with m letters. And on such spaces, uh, I'm going to take uh, so-called master functions, so multi-valued functions. So this is a product for first zi and zj variables. Where kappa is uh, k plus 2. And this ij uh, goes from 1 to n. So these are highest weights. And also, uh, we have this diagonal discriminant like term. So this is a master function I'm going to use. Uh, and so this is a, a multi-valued functions. So this defines a rank one uh, local systems. L uh, on this space of oh, relative configurations. So there is a way of expressing uh, uh, solutions of Knizhnik homological equations uh, due to uh, Schechtman and Varchenko. So the claim is like this. So, so start from uh, this, the space of co-invariant. So there is a that map from this space to uh, the space of M forms on this configuration spaces. So, so, so this is written by some rational functions in G and T. Now, I don't have time to explain explicitly uh, this rational function, but there is a way to write down. So it's a rational function depend on W. And you start from uh, the homologies. <coughs> so uh, middle dimensional homologies of this space y and m uh, with a local coefficient, uh, local systems dual to the original uh, local systems. <laughs> So, uh, so there is a. If you take some cycle C here, then uh, the Schechtman and Varchenko showed that if you take the horizontal sections for this uh, homology cycles on a configuration space, 
then C of uh, phi in this master function times rho lambda, so is a horizontal sections of the Kniznik Zamolozhikov uh, connections. So Kniznik Zamolozhikov equations can be uh, thought of as the total differential equations associated with this uh, matrix valued one forms. So the first statement I'd like to explain here in that, so this map uh, is uh, compatible with also with algebraic relations. The so-called uh, period map. Phi from the middle dimensional homologies of Y and M and this dual local system to uh, the space of the dual of the space of a conformal blocks. So, uh, so for each cycle C, one associate W to uh, this integral over this multi-valued functions like this. The period map is defined like this. So it's non-trivial that this is uh, the original map here is compatible with algebraic relations coming from the existence of null vectors. But one can show it. And, and moreover, one can show that the map phi it's uh, surjective and is equivalent uh, with respect to the action of braids. Uh, more precisely, uh, we are going to consider the case of the space of uh, configuration of distinct ordered endpoints, so it's an uh, action of the pure braid. But in general, uh, this is not an isomorphism. So there is a, a kernel uh, here. So but what I like to uh, show you is to give an idea so how big is a kernel is. So first, I, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, some uh, space of so-called uh, weight vectors. So in a tensor product, lambda n, I define uh, the subspace. So m is the same m. The eigenvalues uh, of H is so. So this is a the basis for Cartan's subalgebra for set C. And I also uh, define the space of uh, new vectors.
so, uh, so this kind of uh, space of null vector uh, can be uh, identified with uh, the space of co-invariance. Yes, they said two cases, or they said two. So in a, in a general case, more sophisticated way. And I'm, I'm going to uh, consider uh, some chain complex associated to this. So description of <coughs> of HM So for uh, generic uh, parameters, uh, kappa, so this space are uh, generated by uh, locally, uh, generated by uh, bounded chambers. So, but in our case, uh, in our situations, uh, the parameter is not uh, so uh, generic. So we don't have a general uh, prescription for describing this. But we define some kind of chain complex and the important part is uh, the CM part. So this is uh, defined by, so first take an endpoint and multi chains. So here you have M1 loops like this. So here you have M and loop. And on this uh, chain comp, on this chains, you have a uh, boundary operators. So this is the boundary operators for uh, for twisted <laughs> chains. So this means that uh, the boundary for uh, local system homologies to give uh, the homology of this. And on the other hand, uh, such kind of uh, spaces CM. Uh, can be uh, identified with the space of weight vectors. So, and what we can uh, show that uh, this uh, boundary operators for twisted chain complex uh, can be identified uh, with the action of this is a SR2 a simple case uh, action of operator E in UQ SR2C at Q is a root of unities. And by using uh, such kind of uh, constructions, so one can see uh, symmetry by a uh, quantum group at the root of unities for such a chain complex. <laughs> K plus two. So, so in general, uh, K plus uh, dual Coxeter number. Uh, so, so it's a SR two case. And so, one can also show that this is a compatible uh, uh, with all algebraic relations coming from the existence of neural vectors. <laughs> And by means of such constructions, I can identify uh, exactly uh, the kernel of this map phi. 
So uh, the kernel is actually uh, the so-called uh, the notion of there is a notion of uh, regularizable. So this is uh, uh, defined like this. So in this case of so m-dimensional. So there is a natural map uh, from the middle uh, dimensional homologies <laughs> uh, to the homologies uh, with uh, locally finite chains. So in a generic situations, So uh, this is an isomorphisms. So uh, generic means that in, a, uh, in general, so we have a principle like this. This is valid for any uh, KSI projective varieties. <laughs> For example, you take uh, the complement of hypersurface or in a projective space, and you take a smooth <laughs> compactifications so that uh, <laughs> the divisors at infinities are divisors with normal crossings. So the generic condition here is the local systems L over K is uh, set to be a generic. So if you uh, consider L as a uh, sheaf of sections of local systems, so the direct image of L is equal to the zero extensions. But in this case, one can show that uh, the cohomologies of uh, homology of X with uh, coefficient in L is isomorphic to uh, the homology with uh, locally finite chains. And by using uh, so Poincare dualities, for example, in the case of such uh, situation of the complement of uh, the sum quotient of complement of hyperplane arrangement, uh, the only uh, homology survives is in the middle dimensions. And the other, all other vanishes. So in this case, uh, homology arise only at uh, m dimensional one. And for in a generic case, so this m dimensional homologies is spanned by uh, bounded chambers. So the picture here is a configuration of hyperplanes like this, and the basis is given by uh, bounded chambers so so here we take a quotient by symmetric group but essentially if you look at this locally finite borel mua homologies this is but the problem here is that the situations in the original uh, conformer field theory case is not the generic ones so there's a phenomena of uh, so-called resonance at the infinities in our case. So this means that uh, at some divisors at infinities, uh, the eigenvalues of uh, the monodromy of local systems is equal to one. So th this condition means that there is no monodromy at infinity with eigenvalue one. But, but if such things happens, so this kind of isomorphisms does not happen, does not hold. <laughs> uh, 
and the statement is that <laughs> if you take uh, the kernel of this uh, map from a uh, uh, cycle to a uh, cycle uh, with infinitely uh, many chains, so there is actually a uh, nice morphisms. divided by this uh, kernel and uh, the space of conformal blocks. So, and this is uh, also equivalent. Uh, <laughs> the action of braids. And what is remarkable here uh, that by taking uh, this quotient, we get a uh, reducible and also uh, unitary So this kind of theorem can be also uh, paraphrased uh, by means of cohomologies. Uh, and uh, if you take, so this is induced by the period map. So, so this gives you that uh, description of Knizhny cohomology of equations uh, by uh, differential equation for certain period maps, period integrals. So if you look at the dual picture uh, from the space of conformal block, uh, to uh, the cohomologies. So again, uh, this is not surjective. And uh, image here, so but this is uh, injective. And the image can be uh, described by so-called uh, non-local classes. Can be described by Lorey uh, spectral sequence at E infinity of M0 by means of uh, the compactifications of this uh, configuration to a, a symmetric product of uh, CP1s. And you consider a delay a spectral sequence. So this kind of uh, descriptions of non-local uh, cohomology classes was uh, first uh, conjectured by uh, uh, Silvotti. And there are uh, also uh, some descriptions using a condition of support uh, by, me by means of, uh, 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 sorry, due to uh, Loyenha. So, uh, so in a simplest case, uh, the most fundamental case is a so-called uh, suffusion rule in a conformal field series the case of uh, CP1 with three point so if you just look at the space of coinvariance uh, the space So this is either uh, one-dimensional or zero-dimensional. Uh, so this happens when uh, a krebish gordon conditions. So this is a classical picture. But uh, if you uh, include uh, this kind of descriptions, one need more uh, conditions coming from uh, uh, the existence of null vectors, algebraic equations. So the condition is the truncations by the level k. So the quantum uh, 
is lambda 1 plus. So it's smaller than or equal to 2k. So the, if the level is sufficiently large enough compared to uh, these highest weight, so, so we have uh, isomorphisms without this kind of things. But uh, when uh, for an arbitrary level and this highest weight, we have to take uh, some quotient of this homology to get uh, unitary reducible representations. And this is a very fundamental since for Riemann surface case, so first I mentioned that the space of conformal block is finite dimensional, but this can be uh, computed by using, uh, by looking at uh, vector bundles on the moduli space of Riemann surface and extend it to the boundaries. And uh, the most degenerate situations uh, correspond to the pants decompositions of surfaces. And essentially, the Ferlinde dimension formula for the space of conformal blocks is the way of associating uh, the edges of the dual graph so that at each vertex, this uh, quantum clevish golden condition is satisfied. And to uh, give a complete uh, descriptions for representation braze, uh, so I need uh, so-called the connection matrix. But, but uh, since this is a special parameter case, it's rather a delicate point. It's not just a specialization of the Turing field associators. And also, uh, in this case, we have uh, uh, parameters uh, depending on uh, moduli of Riemann surface. And the connections I'm going to, uh, I have to describe, so involves also uh, the complex structure of Riemann surface, so not only at the position of points. So this, can, this kind of program can be uh, uh, already done in the case of genus one, uh, so by looking at the Knizhnik, Zamolozhik of Bernard equations. Okay, I stop here. Thank you very much. So in, in the case of this sphere with three marked points, yes. can one see how this kernel looks like more concretely, like this kernel of alpha? P probably, right? This should be... A Yes, uh, so, so uh, <coughs> we have uh, exactly uh, uh, the phenomena of resonance at infinity. So, so if you look at uh, the compactifications like this, uh, so there, there is some uh, edges. So there are some edges at infinities uh, whose sum of uh, exponents is equal to uh, integer. So I have to, uh, we, we have to remove uh, such kind of uh, chambers coming from this. So in other words, uh, this kind of resonance at infinities gives some uh, extra linear relations among homology cycles. So one can describe very explicitly. Well. Uh, so, it reminds me a bit of work of Ramadas and later Belkale for other Lie algebras. Is it related? Which Lie algebra? Yes. I mean, Bel Ramadas for SL2. I mean, this main theorem here. Yes. I mean, uh, description of the conformal blocks in yes. unitarity. Is it is it a similar method or is it different construction? So, which which were? Yes. Ramadas in annals. And then Belkali later for arbitrary Lie algebras, proving unitarity of the of the representation in oh, genus zero. It's, it's, it's a different approach. Yeah. Different approach. Other uh -huh. uh, questions or comments? So what what happens if you go to other Lie algebras? Besides from G, uh, SL2.
Yes, the um, hypothesis program can be uh, uh, performed. Uh, so I, I wrote down uh, uh, master functions, but instead mm -hmm. of just taking uh, uh, lambda i, lambda j product, you can take a uh, root system and, mm -hmm. yes, environment uh, by the forms. So, so master functions and also uh, so boundary operators up here in the chain complex can be written down. Have you determined the images of the monodromy representations in some cases? Yeah, it's rather difficult. Are they related to the, the to the underlying Lie algebra in some sense? Or? Yes, in, in a general so Lie algebra case, uh, th this kind of fusion rule is very very complicated. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So. Uh, so, so how explicit is this? Uh, yeah. so, uh, listen, this uh, group of lead type, uh, yes. in terms of thinking diagrams. Yes. Have you have you done it? In yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>